What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another messy video. Really, I mean, we're going to be doing loads of messy videos, I think, because there's so many versions of him. So for anyone that missed it, you do get a free messy when you log into the game. I've showed that already. All you literally need to do is log in. You will get your messy from your inbox. We've already claimed him here, uh, but he will be in the inbox here. And this is the version of Messi that you get, right? So this card is a highlight Messi. He does not even compare to the premium edition Messi's, which, look, to be fair, is probably is probably expected. I mean, these Messi's, I've already done a review on them. These Messi's here have got a new booster, a brand new unique booster, which gives a plus four to player stats, right? So you can see there that all the stats here are going to get a plus four that you see. Dribbling, tight possession, physical contact, and balance. A couple of broken Messi cards there. I've done a full review on them. But this free version of Messi that you get in your inbox is pretty similar to the other free versions that they have released, right? So we're just going to take a quick look at him. He goes 25 levels. He doesn't have any booster. He has very similar player skills, but he doesn't have any boosters. So you are going to be kind of like, if you are staying free to play and you're not spinning for the premium edition of Messi you're obviously not going to be able to compete stat-wise. Now, in saying that, right, Messi's biggest weakness in this card is his speed at 62 and his physical contact at 51, right? But they're not killers on this card, especially if you're going to be using Messi for his strengths, which I think are still playing him as a, either a cut-in right-winger or SS, shooting on that left foot with that dipping shot, long-range shooting, and also first-time shot as well as long-range curler. And on top of that, we're also going to be using Messi with very kind of limited speed needed or stamina needed. I hear a lot of people go on about stamina. I hear a lot of people go on about speed. If you have your team set up properly and, and you've got your players positioned correctly, you do not need those two stats. You also don't really need physical contact or heading if you're going to be, you know, which Messi is weakest on, you're not going to need any of those in the same way that you don't need defense. So I would stick to the key stats, right? So we're going to go over to eFootballDB. As I said, look, let me know your thoughts. I have done the video on the premium edition of Messi, but they're paid for. You know, you have to spin coins to get those Messi's, right? With these, with this Messi here, he is free. This Messi is free. He's 25 levels. And as you see here, you can actually train him up quite beastly. Now keep in mind, right? With this build, we have got ball control, finishing, and acceleration all going to go, going to go into the 90s with a manager that has 85 plus team, pl team play style proficiency, okay? So the likes of Guardiola, uh, Tuchel, there's a couple of managers in there, Klopp, Simeone, they're all going to give the plus two boost to Messi even without the booster, okay? That means that with this build here, for a center forward or a shooting right winger or even in a kind of in a, a shooting attacking midfielder, you're going to have 90 ball control, 90 finishing, 90 acceleration, maxed out 100 balance or 99 balance, and then uh, dribbling, tight possession, and low pass all around the, either the 90 mark or over 90. Top of that, you're going to have your free kick master if you don't have your free kick master already kind of sorted out. And the only weakness really here is his speed and stamina. Now, when I'm training this guy for me personally, right? I actually wouldn't really train him this way. I would train him in a slightly different way because I know what I'm going to be using Messi for. There's two decisions you need to make. The first one is whether you need you want Messi to be your creative playmaker as an attacking midfielder, which is where I think his best position is, or else you want a shooting cut in uh, kind of third man midf or third striker or a second striker that's going to play off a very good target man or a very good, um, you know, class striker that has everything about him. So either the likes of Drogba or Shevchenko or else, you know, run and gun like Romario, Mbappe, Michael Owen, any of those. Messi off the shoulder of one of them is phenomenal, right? So I would say there's two builds to that. The first one will be the attacking midfielder. So all I'm going to do here, because shooting from attacking midfielder position is still a little bit kind of nerfed compared to where it was, I will bring, this is for the attacking midfielder uh, version of the player, I will bring his shooting down right here okay i will bring his shooting down i'm not going to worry too much about it um i'll actually just pop this in here while i'm while i'm editing here um just to be able to give you guys uh, a quick kind of like um tip on this one so this is going to be my attack and midfielder version of the player right so we're going to pop down his shooting we're still going to get 85 finishing i mean if you can't finish with that there's issues low pass is going to go to 88 for now his dribbling is going to still stay the same pretty much the same it's only tiny little differences that we're going to use but we're also going to take down his speed and his stamina just two so that's going to give us 70 speed 
672 stamina because we're going to be literally leaving Messi in that attacking midfielder role and not track him back. We don't really need speed because he's going to be our passer, right? So when you get to this position here, we can actually pop up his passing a little bit more because that's all that we're going to be using with him. So we go to the 95 mark with the passing and we're also going to probably pop one more into uh, his dribbling just to get everything a little bit more tight. What we want is his tight, his tight position and low pass as close to 95 as possible while still having maxed out balance and acceleration, right? So that is kind of where I'd go with that if I'm using him as an attacker midfielder. If we're going to be using him as an SS or a right wing cut in type player, this is how I would build him, right? So we're going to reset this back down here um, with the passing. We don't need as much passing and we don't need as much anything else. What we're going to do with this build is we're going to actually max out his finishing because we're going to be taking a lot of shots. Even if we don't score a lot of shots, it's that threat of being able to shoot with Messi in the 90s is ridiculous, right? Passing. We don't need the passing that much higher um, than that, to be honest with you, because we're already over. I would probably go the 88 just to get the lofted pass a little higher, even though we're not going to be passing. So I'll leave that for there for the time being. We're also going to get the ball control up to 88 ball control again, because we want him to be tight. And the main thing with this card is going to be maxing out his dexterity as best as we possibly can. Now, we don't want to go to 99 because we're going to have the same thing there. But with this card, I would probably give him... Um, a, a little bit more speed now this is where it kind of comes into that if you are playing with one touch pass and you don't really need to play possession i would actually reduce that completely and give him another mark into that and i would probably reduce his dexterity um no sorry i wouldn't reduce his dexterity but i'd probably give you one more into dribbling there if you wanted to go that route you're going to have 70 speed 74 uh stamina if you're playing with the likes of ten hag you're going to get a 73 stamina or 73 speed stat which is going to be more than enough listen the biggest problem with this card lads is even if you take his his finishing down to 83 which will give you 85 with the boost and you pop it into lower body even if you max out his lower body while keep while keeping his tight possession and ball control and all that into the, where they need to be you're only going to get his speed to about 75 76 which isn't going to make a massive difference on this card so let me know what you guys think about this free version of the card i will be back quite soon he's down as a creative playmaker let me know what you guys think and i will talk to you in a bit